Oh, there is another one. Welcome back to Master Glass with me, Livio Lauro. As you can see today, we do not have a bar set up, so I will not be making cocktails quite yet, but we will be talking about a topic that has recently become a blessing and a curse for me, which is when a customer asks me for Instagrammable cocktails. So uh, from the perspective of a bartender, cocktail creator, mixologist, what exactly is an Instagrammable cocktail. Well, let's start by saying what a cocktail creator and a mixologist does not do. Uh, we don't uh, specialize in pictures. We don't specialize in video. We don't specialize in lighting or in beautiful props or in dramatic uh, music inserts. We specialize in cocktails. So as a mixologist, to make an Instagrammable cocktail, you have to just make sure that your cocktail looks good, tastes good, and that goes without said, and is of course replicable so that bars around your city, uh, country, the world can actually make it. Now, let me distill that down even a little bit more. What exactly makes a cocktail that fits those parameters are those components. And I have really boiled down the components to three things, again, the taste of the cocktail is non-negotiable. It has to be delicious. But what are the other three components? Well, they are glassware, ice, and garnish. So in this series, we are going to discover the world of glassware, ice, and garnish so that we can prepare drinks that are quote unquote Instagrammable. And with that said, that leads us to our very first appointment. We are gonna go over to Henderson, Nevada. I'm gonna meet with a, my new friend, Adam, who is a professional glass blower, and we're gonna learn a little bit about glassware. Let's get to this. All right, so our journey to finding the perfect glass blower brings us here to Henderson, Nevada, where I'm gonna meet Adam Frus, who is a uh, glass blower who actually uses the technique that's the oldest one. I'm really excited to meet with him and I'm really excited to see what he's gonna prepare for us. Yo. Hey, good How morning. Are How are you? Good to meet you, man. Excellent. So happy. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, thanks for coming out to the space, man. We're excited. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, show us what you got. All buddy. right. Well, we got a hot uh, glass blowing studio right here. Okay. So, uh, residential business, uh, which we love. So, I get to live at home, stay with my daughter. My wife gets to work at home. I love Everything's it. here. And uh, I get to play out here in the shop. So, welcome to the glass blowing studio. Okay. You're welcome to come on in. Yep. what I'm thinking. I saw this glass here, right? All I right. really like it. And I'm thinking one of two things. Either I take, on the end the video, I end up taking this glass here, or this ice here, right? And I cut it to size and I pop it oh, in cool. as a cylinder yep. and the drink is nice and cold. Or even better than that, you know, we just go with something like this, right? We crush ice it all the way to the top. Or pebble ice it, I should say. And then, you know, just kind of like that. And then maybe a few of uh, the ideas could be something along the lines of like, you know, once the drink is done, giving them some really cool colors with a little bit of this and a little. It almost comes in there like it's hair. Right. It's awesome. <laughs> right. And then this guy here, I really like. This guy here, we could put it just like that. You know what I mean? And we could make a really cool garnish. So, I love your ice, by the way. Actually, I love it. Right? It's funny, I'm working on, a, on one of these today uh, in the hole right now. I, uh, I cut it in half and I cut the blue off. I put him in, the, in there and he's got like crazy hair coming out of him. That's awesome. Uh, so that's being made right now in the oh, shop. Oh, that's right? really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really cool. So this is this is totally speaking my language. I love I it. I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. And yeah. maybe I'll put some mint. There'll be other stuff. I brought just some stuff to get an example of how I envision it, like we discussed, if we can make this guy 
you know. And yeah, we'll, we'll slap the bow tie on there, no problem. That's going to be fun. I love it. Yeah, and then I'm going to have you actually help me make the bow tie. I so, love that. Um, we'll, we'll be pulling a piece of cane to, to then draw away. Yep. Oh, very cool. So this is our harness. Okay. Wow. This has uh, 80 pounds of molten glass inside the crucible inside of there. That is fine. Yeah, 2045 today. I brag about show. my tea tub in, in my backyard. It gets oh, it's to like fast. 700. It's like I could cook my yeah, pizza yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> we bring some marshmallows out. Maybe, no problem. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's lower 2,000 degrees. Woo! Okay. And back shut. Ready? Yep. So. Lift. Just because it can be hot sometimes. Whoa. There it is. Yeah. And so that's called an annealer. And that's where we're going to put all the pieces to let them finish. Got it. Yeah, okay. Right on. For the bow tie? Got it. Okay, so what we're going to be using right here is uh, just, just crushed glass. It's what we call frit. This one has frit, F R I T. This one happens to be enamel white. And what we're going to do is, yep. This is white glass. Yeah, 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 just a white glass. We're going to roll over that a couple of times and then we're going to pull it into a long, what we call a stringer. Got it. Okay. okay. All right, let's do it. Right. We're just kind of cruising along. So, this is what we call a gather. Gather. So a gather. So, we're just going to get a little bit of material on the end. This is uh, 2,000 degree heat. Whoa. Not under, not under, not under. <laughs> not under. <laughs> Never under. Right? No. Well, you know. So that gets one layer. We're going to do that two times. And so, uh, reheating. And this will melt that all back in. So it'll melt, oh, uh, it'll melt it So inside. it'll melt it down onto the, on the I always wondered how you guys do it. Yeah, that's right. So, like you can, you can see right now, it's already, Kind of turning it's a little color, getting, it's getting off. Yeah. yeah, it's melted cheese on a on a, on yeah. a, on a pizza. But you can't you can't ever take it back off. Take off. Yeah, 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 you can't. Not unless you grind it later. Okay, now we're gonna go back over the yeah. to the uh, white. More white. And we're gonna do that a third time. And you always do this on metal. Yep. So it's a steel table, marble. Um, Old school, like Italians, they would have been doing it on uh, marble. So this is going to happen pretty quickly for us. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of shape up. This gets us ready for the pull, and then this is going to get quenched in the tip. Just the tip, huh? Just the tip. Okay. You're going to be grabbing basically right behind. So let's see. We'll put a little bit of heat in the back. You can go ahead and grab those shears. Give one kiss and then we're gonna grab. So I want you to hold on to it right there. Set it up. Yep. From so, the big yep. side. Go ahead, right there. And hold. And slow, slow, slow. Walk with me this way. Okay. Stop there. This is gonna become your bow tie. I love it. Okay, you can go backwards some. And I'll let you pull. Go, go, go. Oh yeah. yeah, I feel like it's gonna snap, but I know it's not because your face is telling me it's not going to still wiggly, right? Yeah. So this is this is a, just a much finer material, mm -hmm. still for it. It's all something I crush and then I sift, and uh, like this particular set, it lets me use this really fine powder. Okay, and what I don't me... I don't want to blow something big because right. it's so small that it just turns blue. Right. Right. And walk me through again how you made this, right? This. Okay, so uh, this is a material that I purchased, but I okay. purchased it in large flakes, like, uh, and then I crush it up Got and it. sift it. Okay. And, and I get and different. Get the uh, yeah, I get a small, I get a medium, I get a coarse, and then I get large flakes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, this is just going to become uh, that color for the base. Yeah. All right. Sweet. So let's get to it. Let's let the fun part start. So, um, just because I'm a what we call a solo blower, so I don't hire assistants unless I'm doing really large work. And so what what that leaves me with is using what we call a blow hose. Okay. So this lets me uh, cap on the back and then blow. 
And so I'll be able to do all the installations and everything on my own. Okay, cool. So we're all set there. Tools are up. Play it. Go ahead. Right. A little shove. A little shove. There you go. All right, so this is just what we call a starting gather. So it's just a small amount of glass on that shove. And once again, we're just nice and hot. We let it cool down. Clean off our table. You know, just like everything, I'm sure you guys have a clean environment too, right? You have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, all I'm going to do is take a quick little marver on that. So the marver is used to shape the glass and to cool the glass, specifically. Now this is a fun one. We're going to blow in and we're going to get a bubble to expand. Oh, that's so cool. All right. It happens fast sometimes, right? And then we can clean that up and shape that. And a little bit more air. Now we're just gonna hang out. All right, so right now it's still malleable. I could change the shape if you needed to. If I needed to, but not so much. And then I'll put a little more air in. Just kind of keeping an eye on how it's marbling out, how the shape is going. Okay, now we're... So this is just so that you can stop the glass. That's right, that's it's right. It's only purpose. It's only purpose. Yeah, yeah. I could use the furnace for it, but it's a slightly lower temperature. So we like to really just kick it hot. So this guy's hotter than that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we'll just get that shape changed up a little bit. Did you say you have a son or a daughter? I've got a daughter. What's that doing right there? That's long. well, it's elongating taking the, advantage of taking advantage of the stretch, of the, that kind of stretchability of the glass. Now I'm going to be sitting down on the bench, okay. so we get a little bit more of a stretch on that. That helps me uh, kind of thin out the glass a little bit. We're going to get what's called a jack line. And then I'll blow. So dope. And that whole time I'm using the jacks here to kind of restrict the shape. So it doesn't get really wide and it allows it to blow out a little bit. All right, so that's uh, the basic cup. So I'll be fixing that. And we're just making sure that it's perfectly centered there and perfectly centered here. So perfectly perpendicular to the pipe there. Okay, now the fun begins. So like if I was making just a regular tumbler, I'm almost done. But I like to take the tumbler and then go that next step. So about another 20 minutes of like uh, right now, everything, see how it's a little bit motiony? So it's 
quite alive. There's a lot of life. I could drop it on the floor and nothing will really, I could probably pick it up and keep going. Uh, but I'm, when I start working with the torch, I don't want anything to move. So I'm going to be working like really right at the fine line of broken. Because if it cools too quickly, it breaks. And so I just have to make sure like the back part needs to also be warm but not hot. But I'm only really working on the front right now. You notice that that front is moving. Oh yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're going to sit down. I'm going to trim the top. So with a nice pair of shears, clean that up, and then there you go. On the furnace for the shrimp, what we're looking at is this rim. It's a see how it's rounded yes. on the surface. Yes. It's not a clean cut, cut that's polished. Okay. So that's one way that you can always tell that it's furnace finished. It'll always be smooth. Apply a little bit of stress and then no, I really better. appreciate it. Uh, you'll see me again. So I appreciate really it. enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. The cup will be out tomorrow. Okay, okay. so it's going to take about 20 hours to cool down so it doesn't break. And then uh, I'll just bring it to you when it's all said and done, man. Hey, I, love it. I really thank appreciate you. it. It thank was a lot of fun. Uh, Can't wait to drink a drink out of it. Yes, you. yes. I'll bring a couple of drinking buddies. And now me. that I know that you like whiskey. Oh, whiskey, gin, all the things, oh, man. Good, Mix good. up cocktails. We love it. Good, yeah. good. All right, everybody. You heard the man. The glass is ready tomorrow. I cannot wait to show it to you. And please do come back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption. And the way we make uh, craft cocktail cubes is a lot uh, closer to making ice sculptures than it is where the package ice companies make a bag of ice that's sold at Albertsons.